Hey guys, today I've got a lower body strength workout for you. We are going to be working on supersets, which is two exercises back to back. And then we've got tri-sets, which is three exercises back to back. And then we'll finish with a giant set, which is four exercises back to back. So we're gonna be moving swiftly through each set and then we'll rest and then we'll do it again. So we have a superset, a tri-set and a giant set. All you need for today's workout is dumbbells. So I plan on using my 30s, 20s, and 15s the most. I do have some lighter ones out just in case things get serious <laughs> towards the end. And you'll want an exercise mat, something soft to get down on. We have a couple, we have like two exercises where we're going to be laying down on the ground. So bear that in mind, but no uh, bench, nothing like that. Now, before we jump into our warm up, I wanted to let you know that you can find lots more workouts just like this on my app, which is just launched. It's called In Motion with Caitlin, so I hope you guys check it out. I'm gonna put a link down below so you can sign up. You can do your first week free. Just join me there. We'll have so much fun working out together. And then uh, I've got a program coming out in a week or so that is just like the workout we're gonna do today. It's all supersets, giant sets, tri-sets. Superset Express is what, is what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm getting too excited. Let's get warmed up. All right, guys, let's start by rolling those shoulders back and down. We're gonna loosen up from head to toe. <sighs> nice, just a big shrug up, and then slide those shoulder blades into your back pockets. Doing this without flaring that rib cage, without arching through that back. All right, shoulders back and down, there they will stay, and just go ahead and tilt your head side to side. We wanna go into this workout without having a tense neck, so we really wanna make sure we're stretched out. Beautiful, now I'm gonna shrug the shoulders up, roll them forward, and I'm gonna round down to touch the toes, and take it back up. Again, shrug up, round forward, roll it back up. Let's do two more just like that. Round, roll it forward, and back up. My dog has found something that she thinks it is wonderful enough to roll in, which means it's something gross. All right, this time we're gonna roll it all the way out to plank. Oh, it's gotta be some kind of dead, dead creature. Brandy, what are you rolling in? You know when your dog wants to roll in it, it's gross. Again, guys, take it all the way out to plank, and then walk it back up. Good, on this next one, we're gonna bring one foot up and out to the side. So get yourself into plank, taking one foot, bring it up and out to the outside of the hands, and then the arm on the side of the leg that's up in front is going to reach up on an inhale, and then exhale, back down. Inhale, Exhale, hello Franny, what did you find? Inhale, one more here. Inhale, reach, exhale, and now hands down, feet back, walk it up. Roll it up, let's take it down again. Do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, big inhale to reach. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach. Two more. Last one right here. Good, hands down, feet back. Walk it up. Roll it up. Taking one foot in front, stepping the opposite back and behind. Tuck your pelvis, push the hips forward till you feel that stretch on the hip flexor, the leg that's back and behind. Now taking the arm that's on that same side, reach it up and over. Bring it back in, reach, bring it back in, two more, reach, last one, good, switching to the other side, same thing, stepping back, tuck, reach up and over, three more, reach, last two, reach, last one right here, and now just pivot yourself to stand wide and rock side to side. Nice shallow at first. And then as things get more and more warm, you feel like you can get a little deeper. 
do it. Get as low as you're comfortable with. Just rocking side to side. Let's do three more. Last two. Last one. And now we're gonna stay wide. Just fold yourself over. Heel, toe, the feet to about shoulder width. From here, drop your booty and then lift your booty. Drop, so you can bring those hands to the feet, to the ankles, or keep them on the ground. Let's do two more. Lift, lower. Last one is just a lift. And roll yourself up. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're gonna do a few squats. Push the arms forward as you squat down. Really squeeze shoulder blades together when you come up. Again. Push, big exhale to come up, squeeze, upper back, engage. Last three, two, and one. Good, roll those shoulders back and down, chest nice and proud. We are ready to work out. All right, my friends, we start with a basic squat, as basic as it gets. I'm gonna pop two 20 pounders, up on my shoulders for this one. And then we'll rest for 15 seconds. We got 45 seconds of squats. Rest for 15. And then I'm gonna keep those 20 pounders on my shoulders for the second exercise, which is an alternating curtsy lunge. This is our superset, right? So this is two exercises back to back. So we're gonna do these two and then we'll rest for a good 45 seconds or 50 seconds. And then we'll do it again. Three. Here we go, basic squat. So sinking down, big exhale to come up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. You want the knee tracking in line with the second and third toe. Now your squat depth is gonna be different uh, for everyone. So you can go all the way down, right? Do it, as long as those knees aren't collapsing in and that back isn't rounding. 17 seconds on the clock. Last 10, should be getting hard by now. Seven, five, three, and you've got 15 seconds. And then we go for the curtsy, alternating, stepping back and behind, grabbing your dumbbells, here, here we go, back and behind, and switch. So you're inhaling down, exhaling up. You can hold your dumbbells at your sides as well. In fact, I think that's where I'm gonna keep them. So wherever's comfortable, so you can survive another 20 seconds. 15, 15, you're almost done, then we get extra rest, three, good, you got extra rest here, the timer is going to ding in 10 seconds, but you ignore it, so breathe, we're going to do both of those, Again, ignore that ding. You still have 27 seconds. We start with the squat, then the curtsies, and then we move into a tri-set. 18 seconds. You feel that your heart rate is up, your breathing rate is up. Good old strength training, right? 10 seconds until we go back into our squat. Dumbbells are up. I like your dumbbells up for the squat. Here we go, down and up, we got it. Down and up. The beauty of supersets, tri-sets, giant sets, is that we work swiftly, which means you can get your workout done in a shorter amount of time, right? 
and you can achieve progressive overload without having access to a ton of heavy weight. That's the beauty of the new program, Superset Express, is that we progress in difficulty without always having to go up in weight. Because if you're at home, don't always have access to heavy dumbbells. Three. Good. We are resting. When we go with the curtsies. In five. I'm gonna keep my dumbbells at the sides. Here we go. Back and behind. So as I've said before, program Superset Express progresses, right? Each week, it's a six week program. If you're just doing random workouts here and there, you're like, oh, it's leg day today, so I'm gonna go pick a leg workout. You're not gonna see much improvement in your strength and physique than you would if you were following a set program. Five seconds. So I always recommend following a program. Last one. Good, guys. Extra rest. We're moving into our tri set. All right, you'll want your exercise mat out for this next set. We have a sumo squat with the toes out. So we're gonna be working inner and outer thighs. I'm gonna use my 130 pounder for this. So you could always use two lighter, well, two heavy dumbbells here. And then we've got an inside inner lift where we're gonna come lay down on the ground. Then we have a Cossack squat, which I will probably go for my 15 on that. All right, one dumbbell for me, toes are turned out. You want to squeeze the glutes that pulls those knees out. And we drop down and up. I was like so distracted, didn't even see the time. Inhale down, exhale up. So instead of hinging forward on this, I want you to try to stay upright. Thinking ballet, pelvis is under you, right? 20 seconds on the clock. Inhale down, exhale up. This is glutes, outer thighs, inner thighs. Last 10 seconds, five, three. All right, we're gonna come down, lay down on your, I'm gonna grab a 15, grab a light dumbbell. Come down onto your side, mirror me. So you're just doing exactly what I'm doing, but mirroring me, dumbbell is on that thigh, lift and lower. Lift, we got it. That inner thigh is fired up. Uh, using a dumbbell was a last minute decision and I'm so regretting it right now. Oh, my inner thigh. So again, you're mirroring me. I'm doing my right, so you guys should be doing your left. We'll face the other way the second uh, set through. 15 seconds. We can do it. I'm gonna use the same dumbbell for the next exercise. Eight. Whose inner thigh is on fire? Three. Rest. All right, you're coming up. This guy can get out of my way. Step it wide, just like we did in the warm up. Now I'm gonna hold a weight. And we're gonna rock side to side. Two. Here we go, down and then to the other side. Your pace, your depth, you are going for a bit of a hinge so you can lean yourself forward, right? And then again, we're working inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes. Inhaling down, exhaling to come up. Let's get lower, 10 seconds. Ah, uh, yes, five, three. All right, that is the top 
of the set. So we're resting here. You have extra time. You're gonna ignore the ding that's about to happen. And just breathe. We go back into the toes out sumo squat in about 20 seconds. Using my 30 again. Taking this time to catch your breath. We go in five, turning the toes out. Get that dumbbell ready. Here we go. Knees track in line with the toes. So if you lack the mobility in the hip, then you might not be able to go completely out to the sides. So working at your own mobi mobility level, keeping that pelvis under you, knees in line with the toes. So you don't want the toes out and the knees falling in, right? So squeeze the glutes, open up. 17 seconds. Just keep breathing. Woo. My inner thighs, my outer thighs. Five, three. All right, we're coming down to the opposite side. Working that inner thigh, popping that dumbbell up, and we'll lift in two. Here we go. Lift and lower. Beautiful. Big exhale. As you bring it up, inhale, lower it down. You've got 30 seconds. Since I made it through on the other side, with the dumbbell, I'm gonna have to make it through on this side, 20 seconds. Oh, my inner thigh. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. Last 10. Five, three, two. Ah. Alrighty, we go for that caustic squat. I'm gonna try to go deep from the start here. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Using my 15, still nice wide. This is our inner thigh, outer thigh, tricep. <sighs> Next is giant set, and it's gonna be very glute focused, which will be fun. 30 seconds, guys. <sighs> Again, you do not have to go as low as me. In fact, even I don't have to go as low as me. 15 seconds. Last 10. Woo. Don't close your eyes. I almost fell. Five, three. Oh. We are resting. All right, guys. We move into our giant set. Do it twice. Then we'll stretch and be done. So for our last bit of exercise, it's gonna say bit, but it is four. This is our giant set for exercise. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is my 30 pounder for the first exercise. I'm gonna get my 15 out of here. And then I'm gonna use two of my 30s for the second. So we have, we have a reverse lunge and then we've got an RDL. I'm gonna hold one of these 30 pounders for the reverse lunge. So we're all gonna start by planting our left leg. Our left leg is gonna be working through the first uh, set, and then our right will work on the second. So left leg forward, step back, reverse lunge in three. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my right hand, step it back, big exhale to come out. Inhale back, exhale up. So. You're, you can always use two dumbbells here, hold them at your sides, or you can do like me, holding one. 27 seconds. I like to hinge forward here so I can really drive through that glute of that leg that's in front. Don't let that front knee fall in. Holy smokes, guys, 15 seconds. And again, if you don't have a heavy dumbbell, you can always use two on either side, or one on either side. 
five, three, and yeah. All right, I'm gonna use both of these here. RDL, Romanian deadlift. Dumbbells are gonna slide down the front of the body, squeeze glutes to come up. In two, here we go. Soft bend in the knee, shoot the hips back. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, big exhale to come up. 30 seconds. 25. Glutes, hamstrings. Back is flat. Shoulders are in your, shoulder blades are in your back pockets. I'm getting tired. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me. We are almost done. Stick that booty out. Three. Nice. Go ahead, set the dumbbells down. Come all the way down to all fours. Come down onto the forearms. Extend the left leg straight out. And then turn it so the side of your foot is facing slightly up. And then you're gonna squeeze glutes to bring it up. Oh, hi, Franny. And then inhale down, big exhale. Squeeze, inhale down. Franny, just gonna plop herself right in front of me here. 30 seconds. Your booty cheek should be on fire. So like I said, I've kind of turned my toes to like the back corner of my mat. So I can focus on like the outside of my cheek there. And it feels so good. Last 10 seconds here. Then we come up for a squat variation. Five, three, and okay, we're coming up. I'm gonna use my two ten, uh, 20s. We've got a sumo squat, so squat is wide. Pop them up, step the feet wide, but the toes are now facing forward or slightly out. Here we go, down and up. So it's just a basic squat, but it's wider. So again, you wanna make sure those knees don't fall in and that back doesn't round. You're inhaling down, exhaling up. 30 seconds and then we get extra rest. Now you might've guessed it, the giant sets are obviously the hardest. So the giant sets would be the last two weeks of the program. First two weeks are supersets. Second two weeks are triceps. And the third, or the third two weeks are giant sets. Three, two. Oh. Okay, we are breathing here. And here is your extra rest. You've got, you're gonna ignore this. You've got the extra 30 seconds right here. We start with the reverse lunge, right leg forward. Oh, we have to do it all again, but then that's it. So my left hand is gonna hold the dumbbell. It's time to get ready for it already. Okay. We go in five. Here we go, guys. Right leg plants, left leg steps back. And up, so now our right leg is the working leg. And we're hinging forward so we can drive through that glute. Inhaling down, exhaling up. You've got 20 seconds. Just stay with me, it's almost over. Whoo! Remember you're not letting that front knee Fall inward, keep it in line with your hip. Last five seconds right here. You got time for one more. All right, we've got that Romanian deadlift. RDL. In five. Two. Just like that, it's time. Squeeze the glutes to come up. Shift the hips back. Don't over arch. 
Don't round. Dumbbells come to about mid shin before you decelerate and bring it back up. Focus on pushing the hips back, soft bend in the knee, inhaling down, exhaling, come up. Last 10 seconds, guys. My grip is going. Five, three, okay. Please, I don't want to see those ever again. Okay, now it's our right leg. It's gonna extend. We're on all fours, forearms. Lift, oh, and lower. Wow, squeeze, lower. I want you to draw the belly button in as you exhale to lift. Inhale, slowly lower it down. So brace the core. No arch in that back. 20 seconds. Hello, glutes. Last 15. Last 10. How are you doing, guys? We survived. Five. Two. We've got our last 45 seconds of work. Popping my 20s. Ooh, on my shoulders, stepping the feet wide. Sumo squat. Really focusing on using the glutes, right? So use the glute to pull that knee in line with the second and third toe. Whose right butt cheek is on fire? Moi. 20. 15 seconds, guys. You can do anything for another 10. Exhale to come out of it. Five, two, and rest. Set the dumbbells down. You did it. All we have left is a quick cool down and stretch. Whew. So go ahead and just kind of pace the floor here for a second. Allow the, the burning in the legs to kind of even out, the breath to return to normal, the heart rate to come down. And then when you feel good and ready, find a wall, grab a foot, tuck that pelvis, push the hips forward so you get a nice stretch through the quads, the hip flexor here, the wall is there to support you in case you uh, start to keel over like I almost did. And just breathe here, you guys did it. The hard stuff is over, we just wanna make sure we get in this quick stretch. And then I want you to make sure that you go eat something soon. I want you to focus on protein so you can recover from this workout, right? Get in that protein. It's gonna help you recover so you can work out again with me soon, right? All right, go ahead and switch sides. <sighs> Tucking the pelvis, push the hips forward, pull the leg back. Nice stretch through the front of that leg. <sighs> and breathe, and I want you to really focus on breathing because if you are holding your breath after a workout like that, you're gonna to start to feel lightheaded. So breathe. Cool. All right, go ahead and release. We're gonna stretch the hamstrings and we're gonna get down, stretch those glutes. So slowly just kind of hinge yourself over, keeping that back flat, pushing the hips back as you feel the stretch through the back of the leg. If you are like me, and this is more of a nerve stretch, right? I'm like not feeling this in the hamstrings, I'm feeling this behind my knees, which usually means it's nerve related. You can always go soft bend through the knees and deepen into it. So now I'm actually feeling this in my hamstrings. And sometimes I kind of like to pedal my feet here. And now what we're gonna do is take it all the way out to plank very briefly. I won't make you stay here. 
Drop those knees. Let's bring one foot up and under you for this pigeon stretch. And you can just relax yourself into it. Fold yourself over. Take a little nap. Like I said, the hard stuff is done. We're into the feel good stuff. <sighs> Breathing here. Now, if you haven't noticed already, there is an upper body workout like this where we sample some supersets, tricets, and giant sets. So you can always do that one tomorrow unless you did it yesterday. <sighs> Just a little sample of the way things work in my new program, Superset Express. Go ahead and switch legs, which can be found on the InMotion app. And there you're gonna find all sorts of stuff. So you've got your workouts, obviously, but you've also got a community section where with like a, you know, like a community board where we can all post our post-workout selfies or questions we have, goals that we've reached, or goals that we want to hit. And then there's also a big nutrition section where you will find tons of plant-based recipes. Um, some of my favorites are in there. There's a pizza recipe that's just mm, delish. So it's worth checking out, guys. Like I said, I put a link below. You can do the seven-day free trial. Decide whether you want to go where you want to go from there. All right, bringing both of those legs out in front of you, bringing the soles of the feet together, scoot yourself nice and close to your feet, using the muscles of the outer thighs, pull the knees down. We're gonna hold it here for about 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now scoot your booty away and just round yourself over here, feeling that stretch through the hips, even into that low back. This is where I'm gonna leave you guys. I think you're amazing. I'm super proud of you for getting this workout done. I love you guys, and I hope to work out with you again soon. I will see you next time.